Okay, so we're doing a little short aerial from up there to here. The nap is a disaster. I might try to clean it up a little bit, but I'm just uncoiling the drop right now. And uh, I'll just leave it here for now. Get set up to go up and, and plug her in. Should be a quick one. All right, ready to rock. Just need a tag. What's up? This is just a disaster. No sense to who ran this. This must have been one of the first snaps put up in this area. This is Second Street, so it would make sense. There's like a, a party going on down there. So can you drop this right here? Like what the fuck? What a joke. What a mess. Okay, I'm gonna finish prepping it up here. Man, this pole is on its way out. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to be attached to If this pole comes down, I don't want to go down with it. I don't get scared often, but the condition of this pole is very ugly. I'm gonna try to get a clamp there. over there keep yelling at me. Just 
cut it. So you just want to be really careful on these kind of poles and setups. Like I said, this pole's probably been here since the dawn of telecom in this neighborhood. Just every single drop is run wrong. Every single one. Okay, I'm gonna take some pictures and then I'll see you over at the house. Nothing about this is pretty. I could just put a preform on this, but I really don't like the way this is here. Um, that hook is definitely not up to code. Although this is just really sloppy. Like all of this, man. It just triggers the crap out of me, to be honest. But not much I can do. that I like to do. Oh, 
playing some pretty good music. Sounds like they're playing guitar here. Because this is stucco, might be kind of a nightmare, but I'm gonna make some holes coming down the wall. So we got that put up. A lazy tech would have just ran it into here. That's no bueno for me. That loop isn't good enough. There's not enough clearance in there. There's already fiber. So when the tech would have go to install, you can risk damaging the other one and then have to play around with it. No fun. And uncoiled the perfect amount. Okay, I'm gonna strip it back and uh, coil it in. So I measure up my loop, make sure we're six inches. It's not really ideal to have it over a window like this, but it would have been awkward to move it over to this wall. Just trying to keep everything together. And it's supposed to be at working height up there. It's not up to code. Oh, it's been a long day. It's uh, 5.15. I left the house at 8 a.m. Done about three, four hours of driving. Over a span of like 300 kilometers. Still have another 30 minute drive home. But it's all good. There we go, nice and tight. So all that's left is to clean this up and put some info in there, but uh, it's all ready to go. New path, new anchor, new saddles, everything new, completely separate from that. 
new path from the pole. I did not want to risk getting up on that pole. I almost had to put my ladder on the pole to get up there. Way too sketch. Everything should be moved over to that pole or a new one put in. I'm going to actually submit a request to replace that pole because it's very unsafe. I think the next person that goes up might might be at risk. It was it was really like rotten around the middle there. But uh, yeah, so this is another aerial drop um, with a couple of tricks for the saddles to get them to fit in. Um, got to see a couple different options with anchors, with zip ties, but what not to do. Do not anchor within 12 inches of the power. That's a fail and a very unsafe. That hook is obviously not proper. Not sure if you can see that there. I'll try to zoom in on it. Um, I might take a picture with my phone and include it um, just so you could see a close up. But um, I'll take a video with my phone zoomed in so you can kind of see the difference between my line and the rest of them. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching and uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Have a good day.